What's up? Welcome to the Top Off, brought to you by Drink and No Stuff. I'm Brooke Ray, and today we're going to talk about a fun little wine from Salento, Italy. So I picked up this wine from the Benari Winery in Salento, Italy. Well, I didn't actually go to Salento and pick up the wine. I got it at the store, but you know what I'm talking about. Salento is an IGT, which is a designated growing area within Puglia in Italy. Now, Puglia, if you're thinking of Italy kind of like it's a boot, never mind, looks like this. So this wine is made from two grapes blended together. We have the Negro Mara, which is a native grape to the Salento area. And then you have Primitivo. Now, I know you probably might not have heard of either of those, but Primitivo actually is Zinfandel. Back in 1994, they did some genetic typing and figured out that Zinfandel is actually Primitivo. So, in addition to an interesting blend, this wine is made in an interesting way because it's an appassamento. Appassamento means that the grapes were partially dried before they were crushed and made into wine. Now, in some places, they dry them on mats, and other places, they dry them on racks. Here, they actually let them dry on the vine. So during the hand harvest, they go through and pick grapes of a little lesser quality to go into some young wines, more inexpensive wines, and they leave the best grapes on the vine to shrivel and look like that. And then they crush them and make wine out of them. And it lends itself to a more intense sort of rich flavor sometimes and higher alcohols. But what does it taste like? Well, upon, upon first inspection, we noticed that we have a deep black garnet color. And then I got some red currants, some black cherry, and interestingly, some bramble. Now, what is bramble, you ask? Imagine the green stuff that's attached to berries, like blackberries or strawberries. The smell of that, and if you don't know what that is, go pull some leaves off a strawberry and stick it in your nose, and you'll know what I'm talking about. I also got some notes of black olive and toast, which is really nice because I love it when savory flavors balance out fruit flavors. Upon the first taste, I get this blast of fruit and a clench of acidity that got me right here. That is wonderful because acidity is something that makes it a good food pairing wine. And it was unexpected because apostamentos are not known for having a good acidity. There were silky tannins and overall it was a lighter wine than I expected from wine made from dried grapes. Had it with dinner that night, super excited for that because we were having steak and nope. This wine does not like steak. It just wasn't a good pairing. But interestingly enough, the broccoli and the roasted potatoes went really well with the wine, which is very strange, especially for the broccoli, because broccoli is like this big green monster that eats red wines alive. I couldn't believe they went so well together. Overall, great deal for under 12 bucks. So in conclusion, this Apostamento from Benari is a fun, versatile wine. My professional opinion is that you should serve it about 68 degrees just to keep that alcohol in check because, hey, what is it we say? Balance, right? Well, thanks for watching and make sure you hit subscribe. Check us out everywhere, all the media is at Drink and Know Stuff. And remember, while it's good to know stuff, it's better to drink and know stuff. Get lost.